move out of here. I think they're going to make their way onto quarantine. James Richard, while we are with our elephants, we were wondering, since elephants do seem to be incredibly resilient, is there any kind of disease that could have the potential to wipe out an entire herd? Anthrax, even anthrax, which we were, just, we were talking about earlier, can kill elephants, but is unlikely to, do, to affect every single individual in a herd. And I honestly, James, I honestly can't think of anything else that might actually do something similar or something that could affect each and every single elephant in a herd. It's a very interesting question and it's one that I don't know the answer to. I can't think of anything personally. I mean, obviously the, the thing that would be the most likely to wipe out an elephant herd would be drought and a lack of food is starvation, but we're very far away from that possibility at the moment. And this is going to be absolutely stunning because everywhere I look, there are just more and more elephants on their way. Oh, it's this herd with the, with the female and the big slit in her ear. Here we go, we know this, this is one of the biggest herds that we see. There's a couple of really enormous female elephants and quite a few youngsters in this particular group so we really are in for a treat I know that for you guys the ambient sound is not too clear on Maggie the Mahindra there were plenty of rumblings going on there communication from all of the members of the herd I wonder if we position so that we've actually got a good view. I think we can find a really nice spot. Um, elephants are okay. They're going to start coming out for us anyway. I was about to reposition, but they're going to start moving out and into the middle of the clearing. Uh, George in Missouri, while we watch these elephants move through, you were wondering whether I've ever seen or heard of an elephant stepping on its own trunk. And the answer is no. The babies have slightly shorter trunks for their body size than the adults do. So an out of proportion trunk size because they do run the risk of doing something like that. And actually run the risk of injuring their trunks in that way. They're just not nearly as coordinated with their trunks as the adult elephants are. Hello, big girl. <laughs> she wants that tree, and she's going to push the male out of the way in order to get it. But George, I've never seen an adult elephant do that. Oh, that little one. You're going to come up onto the... Come on, come on. 